Hi guys, Redneck Computer Geek here. I'm sorry that my head's probably cut in half in the video, but that's not what's important. What's important in this video is your safety while you're taking out this lower control arm, this assembly that's right in here. Now, these things can get really dangerous because of this coil that's on the inside. You do not have to anchor the coil in order to be able to take this out. You can do this with the coil loose, but the safer way to do it is to put a coil compressor on the inside. And I'll show you exactly what kit you can pick up at AutoZone. So in the upper portion of this, you're gonna have your coil compressor cap, you're gonna have your coil compressor um, hooks in the lower part. And what you do is you reach down through from the upper area, you can actually reach down through right where the windshield wiper fluid is and be able to get to the upper part of the shock. So when you go to pull this control arm, the first thing that you're going to end up having to do is you're gonna end up having to pull your shock out. These shocks are pretty cheap. In the description, I can include a link for you in order to be able to purchase one of these. All right, so your next thing you're also gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to take out your sway bar link, which sits right about here. As you can see, mine is gone. That's because I actually took out my entire sway bar all the way across because I'm replacing the upper bushings and I'm replacing the sway bar links. I can include those parts also in the description of this video. This is your tie rod end. Your tie rod end goes right here. You're going to need to be able to pull this and get it out of the way because once you get this assembly torn apart, this is going to become your hammer point that you're going to put a block of wood on in order to be able to drive your ball joint shaft down through. So once you get to this point, you're gonna turn it so that your brake caliper on this side sits just over the top of the rear of the control arm. You need to be really careful about your ABS wire that you don't stretch it too far because the idea at this point is you're going to jack it up just a little bit and you're going to drive this down through just a little bit like so until you finally get it to come out of the bottom of the steering knuckle once this is out of the bottom of the steering knuckle you're going to take the whole assembly and you're going to shift it about three inches this direction so we're going to see if we can do that on video right now so we're going to jack it up a little more and as you can see right now the caliper for the brakes is currently hitting. So we're gonna pull on that just a little bit. And we're gonna take our seven and a half pound lead mallet and we're gonna give this a tap, like so. Yeah, we gotta come up just a little more. Now, that was the critical point. You need to be paying attention to the rest of the vehicle. If you notice right then, the entire truck just moved, which means I'm now jacking up the entire truck on this one jack. At this point, it does you no good to jack this up any further. You've hit the ultimate of your compression. So at this point, no matter what, we've gotta brute force this out of here. like so. So at this point, we can take this assembly and we can zip tie it up and over just a little bit. Now we've got our two bolts that are in the rear. You've got one here, right there, and you've got another one on the other side. I recommend doing the one underneath the truck first, but the very first thing you're gonna do before you even get to those bolts is you're gonna back this back down and you're gonna settle the truck back down on the jack stands that hopefully you were smart enough to have just behind your transmission mount back here. Now, if you can see this in back right now, that's entirely loose. I'm literally off my jack stand to the amount that I've jacked this up. 
So we're gonna slowly come down with it. You wanna be very careful coming down with this jack because it could easily kick out and take out your legs. That's my wife's Toyota in the background. It needs an exhaust. That might be your next video. Now right there, I just made a boo-boo. I managed to go and catch that in underneath that arm. I'm betting I can pull it and get it to come out of there just a little bit. But you want to watch for that also. There we go. Now we're going to let that come down the rest of the way. There we are. So now the block comes off. This jack comes out. And as you can see, the coil is now held in place by the coil hooks that are right up here so that you don't have this kicking out at you. It's much safer to do. It's worth renting the tool at AutoZone. Like I said, I'll include the information for that also. Everybody have a good day. I hope these tips help you do this safely. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.